Ashley's Tipsy Kitchen. I'm Ashley and today is Tipsy Tuesday. So for today's Tipsy Tuesday, we're going to be exploring all things Moscow Mule. Now this is a very popular drink right now and for really good reason. It is amazing. If you have never had them, they are refreshing, they are light, and they are delicious. So for a traditional Moscow Mule, it is simply vodka, lime juice, and then generally it's going to be a ginger beer. Now, if you've never had ginger beer before, it is like ginger ale on steroids. It's not quite as sweet and it has a real punch of ginger flavor. It's really, really good. It's still nice and fizzy. Now, if you find that you don't like that heavy ginger punch, then you can still go ahead and use just regular ginger ale. That's completely fine. It's just going to be a little bit on the sweeter side and not have quite as much character to it. But use what you like. That's the fun of making drinks in your home, right? You get to make it exactly the way that you like it. And the Moscow Mule is actually perfect for that because the door is wide open to make it just as custom as you want it to. So today we're actually going to do the Moscow Mule three ways to kind of show you how versatile it is. So we'll start by making your traditional Moscow Mule. They are always served in these gorgeous copper mugs. So the first thing we'll do is we'll add some ice. And you want to fill it a good way full. You don't want just like three ice cubes in there because then it'll just be kind of warm. Well, that's not good. All right, so we'll go ahead and we'll take a lime. And you want about a half an ounce of juice. I find that that's about a half a lime as long as the lime is looking good. If it's dry, of course, you can use more. Of course, if it's super juicy, then you can use a little bit less. It's whatever you like. If you like it super citrusy, then go for the whole shebang. All right, beautiful. All righty, and then we'll take just regular good old vodka. I like Tito's, but that's because I'm a Texas girl. And we're going to use two ounces. Perfect. Pour that right on in. And then our ginger beer just to top. It's about four ounces, uh, four to six, depending on the size of your little mug. Um, so for me, use the whole little bottle. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just garnish with a beautiful little lime wheel, make it look pretty, and also so that you know which one it is. So there you have it, something super simple. Moscow Mule, give a little bit of a stir. It is perfect. If you have never had it, try it, it's amazing, it's delicious. I absolutely love it. So cheers to that one. Now. We're also going to do a couple of variations. So we are also going to try a little bit of what I like to call my Midnight Mule. So this is actually going to have some pomegranate juice in it. We're still using vodka, but we're going to use the citron. And then we're also going to use a little bit of lemon because it's delicious. Again, put some ice in. And because we're using pomegranate juice, I also because it's me. I have some frozen pomegranate seeds. You can buy them frozen. You can buy them um, in the refrigerated section as well, already seeded. Or you can be really ambitious and buy a pomegranate and pull the seeds yourself. Just beware. It is very, very messy. So wear something that you don't mind staining. So again, we have gone ahead and put in those seeds. Then we're going to put in a little bit of lime of lemon juice. And we are going to, oh, these are seeds. Go ahead and again use a half of one. There we go. And then we're also going to use about an ounce of um, pomegranate juice to go ahead and make it delicious. There we go. Get that on in there. And then the lemon. Ooh, that one open. All right, Absolute Citron is very good. It is just um, kind of a lemony flavored um, vodka. You see it a lot with um, lemon drops, things like that. So again, we're still gonna use two ounces. Pour that on in there. All right, and then this one we are actually going to top with um, the ginger ale. It's a little bit sweeter, and that'll go really nicely with the tartness. Look at that fizz. The tartness of those pomegranates. Again, we're going to give it a little stir, make sure everything's nice and mixed together. And I don't have a garnish to go on the outside because, well, we've got those beautiful 
seeds on the inside. So go ahead and put that there. And then finally, we're gonna do a cucumber grapefruit. May seem a little strange, but think about all of your spa waters and detox waters. A lot of them, they've got grapefruit and they have um, lime in them. So seems like a good combination to me. So we're gonna go ahead and take just a ruby red grapefruit. Now, if grapefruits are not looking that great, um, then you, of course, can use just grapefruit juice. That's absolutely fine as well. Now, one thing that I find is that grapefruits, they have a lot of hidden seeds. Um, they also have a lot of pulp, so I like to use just a little bit of a strainer. Go ahead and make a mess. And again, we're using about a half an ounce to an ounce um, I find that for most grapefruits, because they're so large, that's about a quarter of the fruit. Um, but again, it really does depend on the fruit itself as to how much juice it's going to yield. And it is a big old mess, so I will not fold too a bit if you want to use juice because you'll make a mess of your kitchen. Go ahead, and you'll want to mix your finger through it because there's a lot of pulp in there, and you want to make sure that all of the juice actually goes through. And then We'll use the remaining half of the lime that we used before. And that will go just straight through as well. All right. Very good. All righty. And then for this, we're going to use a cucumber vodka. Now, I will say that this one is very easy to find. Cucumber vodkas are very popular. Um, a vodka that I happen to have is the Absolute Texas. I think it was a limited edition. Um, but it is cucumber and serrano. Holy crap, it's good. So if you can find it, definitely pick it up. But again, I think it might have been a limited run, so good luck with that. Go ahead and put that in, and then we are going to top this one off with the ginger beer, just like we did for the original Moscow Mule. Pour that bad boy in there. All righty. And then, of course, we'll go ahead and give it a stir, same as we did before. And then we'll go ahead and take the remaining part of our grapefruit, cut a wedge, give it a little slit. And then we'll go ahead and put that right on there to make it look pretty. So there we have it. We have our cucumber grapefruit Moscow Mule. We have our midnight Moscow Mule, which is lemon and um, pomegranate juice. And then we have our traditional Moscow Mule, which is just lime juice and the ginger beer. Thank you so much for joining me in Ashley's Tipsy Kitchen for another Tipsy Tuesday. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down there so that you can join me in my kitchen every Tuesday for Tipsy Tuesday. You can get this recipe and other amazing drink recipes and food recipes as well, all kind of using alcohol as an ingredient at ashleystipsykitchen.com. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I can't wait to see you guys again next week. Bye!